to the R video tutorial on box plots in R part three. More side by side box plots. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University. Okay, we're going to continue on with our cycler data. I know you're all sick of it, but we have it downloaded. We know how to read it in. And the reason I put it on you here on almost every video of having you read it in is so you get used to the fact that you always have to read in data. So if we've read it in, and in the last video, what we did is we created side by side box plots, but we put the CPK times next to each other. But what I'm really interested in is the treatment, because if you remember in the last video, the times when I looked at the box plots, it didn't look like any of the times were different. But if I'm offering these people a treatment, it seems as though I'd want to see if the treatment works. So I want my treatment along the x-axis and CPK along the y or the y-axis. That means we're going to have to take this wide file and turn it into a long file, which we've already done. But I'm going to run through it really, really fast here again, leaving out most of the explanations of why I'm doing this. So just we're going to do turn wide to long. So the first thing I need to do is create some other data sets that I'm ultimately going to stack up. So here we go. I'm going to take my cycler data set, one data set. I want all the rows and I want the columns for the first one. One, two, three, four, and five. That corresponds to subject, age, gender, treatment, and CPK one. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to copy this and I am going to paste it, paste it, paste it. I'm going to change it so that I have uh, one for CPK two and one for CPK three and four. That means I have to adjust this. This becomes six, seven, and eight. And when I run these, I should end up with four data sets. Notice that CPK4 has only the CPK4 column. The other columns are gone. Same thing with CPK3, because I only told it to keep these specific columns. All right, so that looks good. Now, if you remember, I have to change the name so that I can stack this thing up. So change the names on CPK. So I'm going to do name statement, CPK, uh, one, and then here I'm actually interested in the fifth element of this vector. That's the last one, that last column. Uh, and I want to change it to CPK. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to copy and paste this again so that we can rename all of them just with a minor little change here. So CPK two, three, and four. Run this. This should change the names in my data sets. We'll look at it here real quick, make sure. CPK one now just says CPK. CPK three just says CPK. That works well. Now we can stack these things up. Stack up the data sets. And here we go. So let's do this. So if you remember, I think last time we called it CPK stack. So this is our bind because we're binding by rows. So we're stacking rows on top of each other. C bind stacks columns on. So it's kind of like a left to right. This is a top to bottom idea. So we're going to do CPK one, CPK two, CPK three and CPK four. This will stack them up and we can verify that that works here in just a second. But it kind of makes sense. Uh, this is, should be the right size, has five variables, 160 observations, because 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 is 160. Now that I have that, I can actually create a side-by-side -side box plot by kind of tricking R to do it. Well, it doesn't trick, it's just a functionality uh, in R that's really easy to use. So create a side-by-side -side box plot against treatment. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if this works. So I'm going to do box plot. And here I'm going to do CPK stack. And I'm going to put in here CPK because that's my Y axis. This is your Y axis. I'm going to use this tilde thing or twiddle or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's, it's not a minus sign, so you're going to have to look closely. It's the little curvy one. Uh, and probably the similar uh, symbol if you're used to that. And then I'm going to do CPK stack again, and I'm going to put on here the treatment because that's what I want on my X axis. And let's just look and see what this looks like if I run this. And zoom in. 
And notice, now things are different. The boxes are not all in the same place like in the previous video. It actually shows differences between them. Uh, I need to doctor up, put some labels on some things here, put a title on it, and maybe put some color on it. So let's do that real quick. So your X label would be the treatment level. So I'm just going to put uh, treatment. Then on the Y axis, this was CPK. And I'm going to put for the main, it was CPK versus treatment. And I'm going to add some color to this. Now, there are four columns, so that means I can use four colors if I want. And so I'm going to do, let's see here, if I do um, pink, then I'll do red. Oh, yeah, and I shouldn't capitalize these, by the way. If you do that, it'll probably scream at you. I'm not into having it scream at me right now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Then I can do purple. And then I'm going to do blue. See if that looks nice or not. And let's see what this does. See if this makes us a nice picture that we can actually talk about. And when I zoom in, sure enough, here we go. We have a picture that has color in it. It has the labels on it. And now the most important thing is, what does this tell us? Well, what it tells us is that none has the highest CPK. Uh, low treatment seems to maybe have it come down a little bit, but maybe not enough to really detect. Uh, but notice going from low to medium, wow, it really drops the CPK. And again, uh, for the high value of this, uh, high treatment level, the CPK is really dropped from the low and the none, but it seems to be about on par with the medium. All right, so now we've turned this into something we can use. You can also do this really, really quick with gender as well because it's already in the long format. And that's the idea of having things in a long format. So let's do this real quick here. Uh, we're not going to dress it up. We're just going to, I probably should have copied and pasted this, but we'll just type it in here real quick. CPK stack dollar sign. And I can put in here gender uh, because that's a category as well. And let's see if the genders are similar. So if I were to run this... I can zoom in and I can see that females seem to have a lower CPK than males. Uh, notice we didn't put the titles on here. But the point is, is when you have this in this long format, you can use this tilde or twiddle or whatever you want to call it, uh, symbol, uh, to have it plot one against the other. And it does most of the work for you because notice it actually put the labels on these things. If you remember in the last video, we actually have to give it the names for labels. Uh, this way it automatically does it, so that's really kind of nice. Now all you have to do is doctor it up with your X label, Y label, and your main statement. If you want to throw some color on there, do that. But the point of this is, is this is much easier to do than the other. All right, so let's keep on moving and go on to the next video.